there are a lot of different operations for sleep apnea surgery. We talked about maxillomandibular advancement. Nasal surgery can be considered sleep apnea surgery if you're trying to improve patient's sleep apnea. You could remove the tonsils. You could trim the soft palate. There are other smaller surgeries such as moving a, a small muscle uh, of the tongue forward, manipulating the highway bone, trimming a portion of the tongue. All those are different surgical modalities to ma manipulate the airway to improve the patency of the airway. Now, there's a key point in terms of all those procedures that I've discussed. They are different in that maxillomandibular advancement we are expanding the ex existing airway because we're moving the jaws out. The rest of the procedure that I've talked about, taking out tonsils, the soft palate, trimming the tongue, and what have you, we're not changing the size of the airway. We're just trying to manipulate what's within the airway. That's the, dis that's the distinction. Hence, I always use a room as an analogy. When you have a small and crowded room, you could rearrange the furniture a little bit. You could remove its sofa from the room and what have you. You can make the room a little roomier. Imagine that, okay? Then you, let's say you have the same small and crowded room. Or a lot of times, the room isn't crowded. The room is just small. You may not have any furniture to rearrange. But if you knock the walls down, that's a major remodel. But you, you move the walls out to make the room much bigger. Hence, you can see the difference between a very large room, much larger room, versus a small room that may be a little less crowded. Hence, the result of the, sur of the surgery. That's why maxillomandibular advancement is so much more successful, and the result is so much better than the rest of the operation.